Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is my Star Fox Zero walkthrough. This is Sector Y, uh, Copperhead Chaos, and the gold uh, hits is 141 on my final counter, which gets me the medal. And this is a tricky mission. So as it begins, turn around, pick up the lasers, and immediately boost forward, trying to clip some dudes, get a couple of hits, and then go for this missile. The problem I had with this was simple. Uh, it took me a couple times. The missiles, if you horse score here, you don't focus on the missiles and the missiles get to the end and you game over. If you focus on the missiles, you don't have enough time to horse score, so you end up beating it but you miss the score. So uh, in the end, I ended up doing quite an aggressive strategy that was a combination of the two. But it's still really easy to, to miss this because of just how fast these missiles get to the, uh, the that teleport portal thing. Or additionally, when it goes to that fixed camera, get the hell away from it. It can be tricky to orientate yourself when you can't see where you're going, but just boost away from it, make sure you don't take any unnecessary damage. And something to bear in mind here, when it blows up, it does that massive area of effect. So if it's anywhere close to a bunch of enemies, you can get a lovely chain hit of a whole bunch of score. Now, those little crappy ships, when they're up your ass, just break, they'll go past you, and then you can laser them down. And when it shows you this, this is a bunch of weird yo-yo monsters that are going to start attacking the... Uh, is it the Grey Fox, I think this is called? The big ship? I can't remember the names and stuff, dude. It's, it's been a very long time since I played either Lilac Wars or Smash Brothers. But just come over to the ship, start hitting these with charge shots. There's usually about four of them. They grind the surface of the plane, so you'll be able to, to spot them, hopefully. And then Rob will tell you that all enemies are done. Um, yeah, the Great Fox. So, I said Grey Fox, didn't I? Metal Gear Solid. But once that's done, you can go back to shooting enemies and then prioritizing on the missiles. So just get yourself in there, shoot a lot, and just enjoy it. This is a fun level, even though I think scoring on it was a little bit tricky at first. Just because it goes by so quickly. But I wanted to mention our, our buddy DSP uh, in a bit more of a positive light. And I say positive light rather loosely, it's not all that positive, it's kind of pointing out an interesting hypocrisy, but it's not doing so in a way that's trying to make him look bad, necessarily, just in a way to maybe just analyse him. And it, and it comes from the Turtles, so it, it is relevant, because it's a Platinum game. And he really didn't enjoy uh, Turtles mutants in Manhattan, and some of the critiques that he's given were perfectly fair. I can completely see what he's talking about. But I, I took one issue from this, and I don't know if you've seen any of his older playthroughs or if you've watched any of the This Is How You Don't plays, but he's played a bunch of Dynasty Warriors games, and when I've watched playthroughs for them, he has complimented them a lot and enjoyed them. Yet, he said that Turtles was crappy because all you did was run around fighting generic enemies to get to an objective, stand at an objective, and then go and run around and fight more generic enemies. Does that sound like anything to somebody? Because it sounds a whole lot like something to me. And I couldn't understand how he could give a game that is essentially a franchise based off of exactly that and nothing else, and yet be so harsh to a game that does the same thing only with the Turtles license and with probably more complicated combat in the grand scheme of things. Even though people do tell me that Dynasty Warriors is adding all kinds of different things and that, but you know, it's Dynasty Warriors. It's, it's a very specific thing for a very specific audience, and why would you change a formula that there's a ton of people enjoy? You wouldn't, would you? So, I found that really strange for him to have that kind of statement, and I, I think the problem at the moment with good old uh, DFP is he's watching these reviews before he plays these games, and they're making these judgments for him. Because if you saw him play Homefront, it was obvious he was going to quit Homefront, because he went into it with the, the notion he was going to quit it. And then when you're playing Turtles, it was the same thing. Like, he'd not even been playing it for five minutes and he was already banging on it. He was already calling it shit and, and, and... It's just like, dude, you haven't even judged it yet. You haven't even seen any of it. 
yet you're immediately being critical, and don't get me wrong, I'm really critical of games, but I'm critical when it deserves it, not when there's nothing to say, so instead I'll just shit on the game. And I don't understand that, he was kind of the same with this. As soon as he knew there was going to be motion controls, he went into this with just an attitude that wasn't productive of having fun, and it comes across in these videos, and that's why a lot of his playthroughs are shit, because you watch him, and it's a dude who has the job that people would envy, who's not enjoying himself. And it's just like, dude, you play video games for a living. What the fuck is wrong with you? Smile, dude. Smile at least once. But that's the end of the video, guys. It's only five minutes long, but it's, it's a hard-earned five minutes. So good luck with that one. And you take care now.